I was tagged in this Am I the A-hole post from a woman. And like I usually say, she's simply looking for validation for feeling normal human emotions. She says, am I the a-hole for locking the door when I shower? Okay, probably not, but let's look at the post. She's 40. Her husband is 41. She says, I'm married to my husband, 41-year-old male. Whenever I shower or take a bath, even if I lock the door, he always comes in and uses the toilet, stinking it up and ruining my relaxation. It has bothered me for years. We have two bathrooms. One has a tub, the other does not. He tells me he doesn't like using the other bathroom, so he has to use the main bathroom. He does have IBS, and he blames his behavior on that. If I lock the door, he will use a penny or a screwdriver to open it as, it, um, as it's one of the locks that you can open from the outside. We have small kids, so we don't want them to accidentally lock themselves in the bathroom. That's why the lock can be open from the outside. I can't take long showers or baths when he is at work as I need to be watching our children. So I will have to wait till he's home. Most days I get only a short shower as the kids will start asking for things almost right away. So I usually only take a long bath every few weeks when I really need to re relax. Every time, no matter, what, um, no matter if he's already used the bathroom before I go in, he comes in. He gets mad at me for locking the door as it takes him longer to get in. One time I pulled the drawer under the sink to prevent the door from being opened more than an inch. And he got really mad over that. He says that because he has IBS that he can't help it. And I'm being a jerk taking up time in the bathroom. I said he could use the other bathroom, but he refuses and said I should just get over the spill or not take baths. I really just like some time to relax alone without smelling a sewer. Am I the a-hole? You are absolutely not the a-hole. He is, he's being controlling or he is trying to dominate your just a smidge of time. And this is not right. You have expressed that you are uncomfortable with it and you dislike it. And he still keeps doing it. He's disregarding your feelings. And like she types in the, the post, he does this regardless of if he's already used the bathroom or not. It's not simply about him needing to use the bathroom. This is not an emergency because he continues to do it. And I don't think that people with IBS are triggered simply because somebody else is taking a bath. This is just a power play or he's just trying to be controlling or mean spirited or cool because this woman wants to relax a little bit. They have kids. She's a mom. She's busy. She should get some kind of time to unwind. And this is not cool. Okay, so let's get into some of these comments. Bulging Kiggle Muscle says, not the a-hole. That's infuriating. And it feels like he's doing this precisely so that you don't take long baths or showers. Depending on money, location, etc. I wonder if you could change the game by taking your time. I mean, taking the time you would have a long bath and instead go into a spa or maybe look at couples counseling to get, get it into his head that it's time for his behavior to change. How gross. Um, Ber Burner Boy Lowell says, um, bro, who the F even goes into the bathroom while their partner is in there and takes a sh I get it if there's one bathroom and it's a, oh my God, I either go on the floor right now or run into the bathroom, but WTF, if my wife is taking a shower, I may go in there if I have to pee, but I'm not just going to drop my pants and poop. That's so weird. This person says he's taking the time to pick the lock instead of just walking to the other bathroom. And Crystal says, exactly. If it was due to IBS, he would be making a mad dash to the other bathroom, not wasting time fiddling with the locked door. Serious Slithering Snake says, I was going to say, of the many people with IBS on here, even with me having IBS dash C, when it's a flare up, you got to go. For me, it's a, you know, it takes time to go, but there's urgency to get to the toilet. I have not met a single person with IBS of any kind that will stop, take the time to pick a lock, just use the bathroom when there's another option, not one at all. Okay, yes, there, there we go. People are basically saying that his excuse is a bunch of BS.
And I'm looking through some of the comments and the majority of them are pretty much just echoing that he is just full of it, <laughs> literally and figuratively. So this woman needs to figure out if she com continues to communicate and create these boundaries and he keeps trying to push these boundaries, is she willing to accept this behavior for the rest of her life? And that's what you have to do. It, in your personal life, your boundary could be anything. Um, and if people keep pushing it or disrespecting it, then you have to figure out, is this someone that I really see myself with? And you have to answer that for yourself. All right. Let me know what you think about this. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share. This is a good one. I was sent this one. This is another Am I the A-Hole post from a woman, but it's also, it looks like a find out season story time. So she says, am I the a-hole for being distant from my husband and wanting to end the marriage? I don't know. Let's see. So uh, she says, my husband, who's 33, and I, who's 29, have been married for almost eight years and have known each other for about 15 years now. So they got married young and they have been together for like half their lives. Recently, I discovered he's been addicted to corn and has been consuming it excessively throughout our marriage. Lied and hid it from me, making me feel crazy for questioning him. So as a way to move forward and be honest and communicative with me, he tells me that he's had an interest in exploring sex with other people and encouraged me to do the same because he felt like our sex life wasn't exciting enough and that we got married too young. So I went ahead and gave it a shot as, as a last measure to fix whatever left of our marriage, which was stupid, I admit, on my part for trusting him and thinking that this can help fix our marriage. So number one, okay, no, not number one. Let me finish reading it, then I'll come back. I met a couple of guys who treated me better, listened to me, and made me feel desirable, beautiful, and more than just enough, which I never felt with my husband. And then he begs me to stop and wants to go back to being monogamous again. Now I can't stand him. I question my life decisions for ever ending up with him and for seeing something special in him, even though I feel like he's doing better now and is trying desperately to keep me around and our relationship alive. And he keeps telling me how both of our lives will suck if we get a divorce. I don't know if he's saying this as a way to manipulate me into staying by believing I can never do better and spend my life regretting ever wanting to separate, or if it's actually true and that I should indeed work harder on maintaining our marriage because this is a normal part of life and I need to forgive and let um, and let go, even though he fumbled so badly and destroyed my love, trust in the way I view him. Sorry for the long read. Please no trolls. I'm going through something real. Any insight or help will be greatly appreciated. Thanks. I, what I was about to say at first when I was about to start editorializing is that I do not believe that people should be getting married this young. He was, what, 25? She was 21. That is very young. You haven't really had an opportunity to explore anything. And they have been together for a long time, a good chunk of their lives. And so, um, you know, I really think that when you get married that young, there's so much that you are missing out on as far as getting to know yourself, not even necessarily dating other people. But yeah, dating other people would you know, make you see, is this who I really want to be with? This is what I really like. This is what I don't like. When you are 21 to 24, your brain is still essentially forming. You don't have life experiences. You don't really know what you are looking for. These people got together because they were like high school sweethearts or whatever, and they just stuck and stayed. You are a completely different person in your high school years, in your 20s, in your 30s. And so people do drift apart. But what he did with making her feel crazy, um, that is still a choice that he made. The corn has rattled his, I mean, jacked up his brain, is scrambled it, and he's not treating her well, and she doesn't deserve that. Now, 
she she met a couple of guys they treated her better but that literally could be that new relationship energy that people get so of course they're going to treat her better but she sees that there could be something still out there that she's not too young um she's not too old we're not old women are desirable regardless and we've seen that enough with these uno reverse stories these find out stories these open marriage um, regret stories that women are desirable, period. And so he's saying that, oh my gosh, my wife is desirable. So now he wants to change, but he didn't want to change simply because she asked him to or was trying to figure out what was wrong. (laughs) So no, he's pretty much lost her. And no, ma'am, you are not the a-hole for being distant. You were distant. You had a reason because his brain from the corn was scrambled and he was treating you he was mistreating you period you deserve a man that's going to treat you better than that anyways let's see some of the comments Ooh, it's a mystery says not the a-hole he's projecting your lives won't suck his life will suck and he knows it he thought he could do better and there was more for him out there and he probably faced the cold hard truth he's a shitty partner he probably cannot um cannot get nor keep women because you might have been blinded by love but most certainly will not be you have every right to want to want to and to follow through with ending your marriage you did as he asked and it backfired for him you can do better and deserve better that that's the thing he is being faced with reality he's uh, (laughs) jumped out there it's not working out well for him like most of these open marriage regret stories and now he's like whoa 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 let's 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 pull back. <laughs> the the OP says, "Oh my God, thank you so much. This brought tears to my life. I love I love you for this comment." So this OP, the person that wrote the story, is literally just looking for some validation. Who is some mystery says, "Put yourself first, darling." He certainly did. He wanted this, and now he he's got this. I think it's time to move on. Find the person who's going to treat you right, and leave him to his own miserable choices. Sending you internet hugs and much strength. I'm sorry you're going through such a difficult time. Please don't let him manipulate you. Your gut is right. That's what he's doing. You're good. Go be happy. And Algernon Flower Wilta says, yeah, I agree with everyone saying basically it sucks to suck. As a guy, if my wife asked to see other men and me to see other women, I'd pack and leave. It literally would break my heart. There's something really pure and kind about fully choosing someone and them doing the same for you. That is true. Um, If he's choosing her simply because he doesn't have options, that is not a, (laughs) that's not a real choice. He's settling for her and he's settling for her after she's given half of her life to him. And I think that she needs to just let this go and go find somebody that really wants to be with her. If she even finds it, otherwise she deserves to be single and be happy and heal from this. So y'all let me know. I'm not going to do a bunch of these comments, but y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. This is a post that was cross-posted in my Bourbon Bougie subreddit. She titled it, it should be reversed if we are being realistic. Let's look at this post in the funny memes subreddit. So here's the meme. And the man is on one knee saying, will you destroy my life? And she's like, oh my God, yes. And he's like, ha, 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 in the caption. This marriage joke being a drag on men is so old. The whole ball and chain variation where they just keep laughing at this. And it's not funny. It's not creative. The man who posted this is in the comments acting like it's just a joke. Guys, I've been married for 17 years. But who cares how long you've been married? This, uh, no woman is sitting up here intentionally wanting to destroy your life. And these days, men, you don't even have to get married. If you think marriage is something that's simply there to destroy your life, you do not have to get married. You all, we all have the opportunity to be single these days. You don't have to be connected to someone these days in order to survive and thrive. Now, men might need someone to thrive and survive because women do bring a lot um, to these relationships as far as, you know, the support of the household and all that we do to support husbands, 
that's that benefits their health and wellness and all of that. So it's not about destroying his life. But if they really think this, they should just stay away from marriage. Now back to some of the comments under my post, because this is, you know, obviously my friendly crowd. Um, she captioned it with, come on now, men are far likelier to do that as far as destroy my life. That's what she's saying. Nia, Nia Mia Bia says, is all fun and games until the next men's loneliness epidemic article. And public domain kitten says, instead of punching up at the men, they're really pissed off at who denied them a career, money, and a meager life under patriarchal capitalism. It's so much easier to stomp down on women and children, don't you know? Exactly. These men do not really want to get married, but they do they do know that because of capitalism and all of that, they kind of need a woman, but they don't get mad at this system. They get mad at the women because they need the women. So Starling Devotee says they love to joke about how much they hate their female partners, but lose their minds when you walk away. Yeah, it's so hilarious that you hate your girlfriend or wife. What's the punchline besides I hate her and I wish she was deleted? Why don't they just date other men then? It's 2024. Nobody is stopping them. And then Salty French Fry says men's loneliness epidemic is their own little season of F-A-F-O. F around and find out. And they and many of these people definitely deserve it. They simply let us know day in, day out, how much they really don't like women. Anyways, let me know what you think about this one. Jump in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.